Hi! In this video, we're gonna learn about the UI drawer, a navigation drawer inside Unity. Let's get started. In order to create a UI drawer, you go to the hierarchy view, right click, Doozy UI, UI drawer. And a UI drawer will be automatically created, of course, with a master canvas if one doesn't already exist in your scene. The default setting for UI drawer is to set the container as the percentage of screen 50% and the minimum size of 128. And of course, it will close to the left side of the screen. Let's just press play and see it in action. Okay, so now if I swipe to the right, you'll notice that the UI drawer opens. If I want to change the direction, let's say I wanted to have it uh, on the top of the screen, I'll just set the close direction up and update the container, and that's it. Let's test it. And now it's on top of the screen. Let's say I do not want to use see the arrow. I can disable it. Let's press play. And now no arrow is visible, but the drawer is here and I can drag it. You'll notice that it fades out. I can even disable that. So I'll disable fade out container and now it won't fade. If you want to disable the overlay, you just go under the UI drawer in the overlay and disable the image. And again, it will, uh, it will work as expected. Actually not in play mode. <laughs> So let's disable it here and let's display. Now, there you go. Another option, you've noticed the arrow is a bit big, so we can scale it, let's say 0.5. And now the arrow is smaller. You can also set the arrow to have different colors when it's closed and open. Let's uh, set it when it's open to yellow. And when it's closed, to black. I think I set it white. Yeah. So let's set it to yellow. And there you go. Let's set another color when it's uh, closed. And you'll notice that it goes from one color to another. We can also change the arrow's uh, position just by moving its root. I'm going to change the gizmo size so I can see it. And now I can move it here and press play. And the arrow will be on the right side of the screen. If you want the arrow to be only on the inside, you have some uh, convenience methods here and you say, Reset, reset, close position equals open position. And now the arrow will be hidden, but it will be available when the drawer is open. So you no longer see the arrow, but when we open the drawer, you will see it right here. Whenever you open a drawer, close the drawer, or drag the drawer, you have a lot of options. When the drawer started opening, you can set a sound, an effect, an animator, a game event. This is a new eye action. And when it finished opening again, same thing. These, these settings are available for every of these behaviors are available for every component. When you start dragging and when you finish dragging, you also have an open and a close speed. And these are useful only if you're opening and closing a, a drawer via a button. Now let's uh, delete this and let's create a new UI, UI drawer. So you see UI, UI drawer. And this time, Let's open the drawer via a button and let's have it a fixed size, let's say 300. So I want my drawer to have a fixed size, let's say 300 pixels. Let's update the container. I do not want to use the arrow and I do not want it to fade out. Right now it reacts to gestures. When I'll, uh, I'll drag it, I, ca I can open it via a simple drag. In order to use a button to, to toggle it on and off, you should uh, disable gestures, although it will work, but you should disable it. And now I can no longer open the drawer. So it doesn't work. 
how do, how can we we create a button to to work with this drawer? Let's create a new UI button, and let's call it toggle drawer. And on click, on trigger, a Unity event. Let's drag this drawer here, and say UI drawer toggle. Where is it? Toggle. And that's it. Let's press play. And now we have a button that opens and closes the drawer. Toggle. And here you've noticed that uh, the UI drawer has open speed and close speed. Let's say open speed 3 or maybe 4 and close speed, let's say 6. Let's say open speed 1 and close speed 20. So that's the open and close speed. Of course, you if you enable detect gestures, it will work. And now I can open it via a uh, swipe and toggle draw will work regardless. If you want to hear a sound when the drawer opens, you can add it. So let's add a simple click. Actually, let's edit when the drawer has finished opening. So let's say no sound. So when the drawer has reached its uh, maximum point, let's uh, change the speeds. Let's hear a sound, that tick sound. So close. There you go. And uh, when we close it, let's uh, at the start of the uh, of the close animation, let's add a slide. So you'll hear it right now. And this is how the system works. Of course, you can trigger particle system, animators, send game events, and even trigger Unity events, should you need to do that. Either when the animation starts or finishes, when opening, closing, and dragging a drawer. If I start dragging, let's hear a sound. You'll hear now when I start dragging. Again. Now, uh, you can also have several UI drawers, but only on one si on different sides, because otherwise they will not work. And that's it for the UI drawer. Thank you very much.